All right, so we're back here with the uh, surround processor board out of the Luxman RV371. And uh, we've, in the last video, we've pulled all the caps off the uh, board. We've tested some, and we realized that a lot of them were no good. And so I've ordered a whole new set of surface mount aluminum capacitors to replace on the circuit board. So I think there was roughly about 65, 70 uh, or so caps that need to be um, soldered to this board. So I'm going to probably demonstrate uh, on a couple um, on a couple capacitors and how I'm going to do that and maybe a couple different ways of doing it. So, uh, okay, this is the replacement capacitors of all various values and, and uh, voltage. So I believe I have enough to do two circuit boards, which is I have two circuit boards. So if one works, I'm going to do the other one because I'm pretty sure that one is suffering from the same issue. And uh, if this, if the original circuit board works, then it'll be good, and we'll have a backup. All right, so let's fire up the solder iron and uh, start installing capacitors. All right, so we're going to try one method, which is solder paste, and you can probably well, you can't really see it because I'm zoomed out in too far, but. Um, I have a tube of solder paste with a very fine tip here and you can actually just put a little bit on the pads like that when you use this low temp solder you gotta remember to turn your solder and iron down too um, this method can be a little tricky because it kind of hides the pads when you're trying to align it. So I'm going to place the part. It's going to be very difficult with this camera in the way, but try it. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Now you're going to take your solder iron, clean it. And what you gotta do is you gotta kind of hold the top down a little bit. Let's see if I can. As soon as you touch that with the solder iron, it's gonna want to move on you. And you just heat, bring the iron into the pad, into the lead. Let it heat up. See it flow? Pull it off. Let it cool for a second. Okay, so that side is done. Now you can go in the other side, clean off your solder and iron. Go in, touch the lead. Good. And that's how you can use the solder paste method. I think it's, uh, it can be a little tricky. It takes a little bit of practice with this way. Um, I'm going to show you another way I, you can do it too. All right, method number two. Let's put a little little uh, flux on there. If you don't have a camera hovering over your work, you can look straight down at it. So this is kind of a bitch. That's probably as close as it's going to get. So you get a little bit of flux on there. You hold your part. You grab your soldering iron. You take a little bit of solder out of your roll. And you dab. You first hold the part. I think I got any solder on that. So it's stacked in. The leg of the camera. Let's see if I can just get in there and touch this.
stupid regulators in my way. Alright, there we go. So that's method number two. Alright, so now we're going to try method number three. It is which we're going to wet the pad and uh, we're going to put some solder on it and try and stick one leg down of the component and flow the part into the weld, well into the solder. I personally not one of my favorite methods but it does work but you need a little bit more heat because these tend to, you can't get the leg of the part hot enough real quick but of course you have to reposition it every time you you move it there not too bad it does work now we'll attack the other side I cannot see with this cam camera. Not too bad. I'll clean that up once I get this camera out of my face, but hey, you get the idea. I'm going to repopulate this board and uh, we'll get back to you. Alright, so I've got all the cap capacitors replaced on the sound processor board. And uh, that, was an, that was about a two or three hour job. And uh, eh, you just got to sit down and, and do one at a time. That's all it takes. So I think it's time to throw it in the uh, receiver and see how it works, if it works. Oh boy, it better work. Alright, so I got the processor board back in here, and it's definitely uh, a lot of uh, stuff has been uh, fixed. All this, I got all my surround modes back in. Let's see if I can get this thing to. I've got all my surround, surround modes are all responding. indexing through phantom and wide and my simulated surrounds are working so that seemed to have cured that issue um, my stereo channel my two speakers are working in the front I'm um, still having a few little issues with uh, my center and my rear I'm not sure what's going on yet but uh, I still haven't rechipped it I just did the cap so yeah it's, it's at least it's uh it's doing something uh, different, so, well, looks like it's got to do the chips next, but, uh, yeah, not bad so far.